<clears throat> My tripod is light. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is John Gonsalves. I'm the president and founder of Homes for Our Troops. And I just want to thank everybody from this community to, that's here today to come out and support our mission. And uh, right now, if everyone could rise uh, for the presentation of the colors and the singing of our national anthem. National Anthem will be done by American Attitude. It's a group of four active military members. Chairman Ken Bryan, uh, I'd like to thank all of you for all of your support on this. You know, when I when I come out to uh, 
these bill brigades and the different events that we have, uh, it just uh, talk about proud to be an American when, when we can see hundreds and hundreds of people uh, that continually come out to support our mission. Um, I'm a builder from Massachusetts and I saw a story about a soldier that had lost his legs in Iraq and I just thought about it for a minute and uh, I had built a home for a couple that had a daughter in a wheelchair and I saw the difference that it made in her life to have a home that was designed around her special needs, what made life easy for her, freedom and independence, move about the house. And after seeing this story, you know, I really assumed Homes for Our Troops was an organization that was already out there and I went online to volunteer and unfortunately uh, there was nobody to volunteer for, but you know, I, I thought about it and I said, you know, we're Americans, this is America, this is the greatest country in the world. All I need to do is go out and start asking people to do this, and I knew it would help. And right now, the home that, that we're going to start building today is part of our new campaign that's called 100 More Homes for Our Troops. You know, once we took on our 100th family, we really started thinking, you know, when people hear about this for the first time, we don't want them to think this is a new initiative. And right now, because of, of people like you, We've got 90 families in more than 30 states living in homes like the one that we're going to build. And uh, we're taking on a lot more. And we're, you know, the 100 More Homes for Our Troops campaign is just a stepping stone for what the real work that we have ahead of us because we need to build hundreds of these homes all across America. And that's, as an organization, that's what we're committed to. But Homes for Our Troops is really not just, a, you know, an organization that's based in Massachusetts. Homes for Our Troops is an American movement and every person standing here today is part of Homes for Our Troops. It is uniquely American and when it comes to issues like this, there's, there's only one way that these types of things will be addressed and that's by the citizens of America. This is not something that we either should or could expect the government to take care of because as Americans, if we need to get something done, it's us who roll up our sleeves and get it done, and it, it's just a wonderful thing. And, uh, you know, for, you know, I don't know how many people have, have met this young corporal, but uh, he's quite an interesting kid, and I, I always enjoy when I'm around him. You know, it's, uh, you know, Tyler, you represent, and the, and the men and women of the military really represent what's the greatest about us. It, it's the core values that you hold and it's what you stand for and fight for for the rest of us that makes us who we are. Our, our identities as Americans are shaped by people like you. And because of that, that's why we are the envy of the world. That, you know, there's no other country where people will try to put a raft together and just float to the shores. You know, pe people aren't looking to do that and go to other places. They want to come here because of our veterans and, and everything that's been done since the American Revolution. And, you know, if our founding fathers and, and people like George Washington were able to, to take a look at what you represent and, and what all of our military represent, they, they'd be proud to serve with you. And, you know, it, it's we're who we are and we have the freedoms that we do because people like you have been willing since the American Revolution to stand up and fight for it and preserve it for all of us. And that's why we're here. That, that's why we're here. And, you know, we can never just thank one veteran or honor one veteran because anytime you do it for one veteran, you're doing it for all veterans, past, present, and future. And, you know, I, I know that uh, we have sort of a black mark on our country for the way we treated Vietnam veterans when they returned. And, you know, this, this is proof here today that as Americans, we, we've learned our lesson to never allow that to happen again because it was, it was wrong. And uh, I just want to take a minute to all the Vietnam veterans that are here to say welcome home to all of you. What we, what we are doing here today is for them as well. Because we've got a lot of making up to do for, for things of the past, but we do have the power to shape the future. And if this is an indication, we're definitely on the right track for sure.
So, um, I, I want to take a minute to uh, point out a couple people so that uh, when people have questions and things like that, um, I have several of my staff here. Uh, Dan Lovendale, who's our construction manager, is here. Where's Dan? Here's Dan right here. In a few minutes, Dan will do a safety briefing and, and introduce everyone. And uh, our community outreach coordinator, who most of you have probably already met, but will handle a lot of the logistics on the ground, Dorian Lewis. Time employees, uh, Larry Gill, who is here, and I just want to take a minute to. Uh, with Larry. Now, Larry Gill uh, spent 13 years in the Marine Corps, got his first Purple Heart when the uh, embassy was bombed in Beirut, and uh, went on to become a police officer in Alabama and joined the uh, National Guard and was wounded in uh, Baghdad in 2003. And that's when I started going to places like Walter Reed, and I, I met Larry there. And you know, he, he had uh, a little more experience than a, a lot of the kids that were in there. And you know, this is a man that took them under his wing and made sure that they knew how to navigate the system. And if they were having issues, he always was around to point them in the right direction. He's our veterans liaison. So again, for Larry Gill. things that really uh, is the first step in making something like this happen is to find a great builder and I think we've done that with DreamFinders Homes. Uh, Mark McGeegan, where's Mark? Oh, there he is. Let's really give him a round of applause. the guy that's going to be here on the ground and really driving this project and, and helping us out and uh, I really can't thank you enough. You're, uh, you're a great American. Thank you. Well, I know everybody here wants to start building a house, but uh, be before we do, um, you know, I just want to take a minute for us to really understand that uh, when we're doing something like this for, for Tyler Southern, we're also helping an entire family because they, everybody that he knows and all his family members were, were affected by this. And uh, I'd like to take a minute and thank the entire Southern family. And the man of the hour, uh, I'd like to have Corporal Tyler Southern, United States Marine Corps, come up and say a couple words. I like those little curtains. Whatever you want. The floor is yours. And being put on the spot is fun. <laughs> I just, for starters, just want to thank everyone for being out here. Uh, Y'all don't know what this means to me and my new wife, <laughs> Just uh, the support from the start with my homecoming in August and the, ho the home, our wedding, everything has just been through the roof beyond amazing. And I want to thank Jacksonville and every rider that was out today and just everyone involved with all this and of course Holmes Broad Troops for setting it all up. <laughs> Thank you. slab or even 20 feet, 50 feet, it has to have a hard hat. Um, it's hot out, everybody stay hydrated, work safe. Um, 
you see something laying on the ground, whether it's a board with a nail in it, push it off to the side, make sure nobody steps on it. Anything that, that looks out of the ordinary is definitely uh, bring it to someone's attention. Um, anybody that wants to volunteer, construction aspect, either come to Mark or myself. Um, or anybody generally with the red hard hats is, 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 is the point of contact you can go to to look to see if you can get involved. Um, when we do start swinging the trusses, uh, the crane will show up. Everybody just kind of be aware there's going to be trucks coming and going outside the driveway. Um, just, just be aware of it. Uh, when the trusses do start to swing, um, hold, everybody just clear away from the slab. Push off to the side. Everybody just needs to be safe, be aware. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just work safe, stay hydrated, and let's do it. being here because uh, like I mentioned we're on a campaign to build 100 more homes for our troops and when we go into other areas what they're going to look at is places like this so you're all serving as an example for the rest of America to look at to what what it is we can do and what it is we need to do so everything that's happening here all the support and getting this house built is not only going to benefit Tyler, but it's going to benefit a lot of other families across the country because when we introduce this, people want to know how they can get involved and really, uh, I can't stress that enough. Everything that we do here is we're leading by example and we're going to show other parts of the country, places we haven't been, that this is possible and that we can do this. And again, we, we are so grateful uh, for the support that, that we've gotten here and the support that you've shown Tyler and Ashley and, and the entire family. So uh, again, thank you. And uh, we're going to bring uh, bring Tyler and Ashley over there. And we're going to stand up the first wall to their home. So uh, let's, let's, let's get this going.